Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney. And today I want to talk to you about the man to the, the man with a hammer. Everything looks like a nail. Um, before I get to that, though, I want to remind you, if you're not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time, you should uh, subscribe by going to the unconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. Uh, you will also, by the way, get my free, um, I don't know, white paper, five ways to increase your law firm profits 25% in 2021 without really spending any more time, without spending any more money, hidden profit inside your law firm. Um, the unconventional journey.com forward slash newsletter. All right. So coming to you from uh, my house, it's Wednesday. It means I'm on kid duty. Kids are here. No school still coronavirus. But uh, I wanted to talk to you about the man with the hammer. And this is something that, as a law firm owner, you need to be very, very aware of, very cognizant of this, because if you are not, you can be sort of um, sucked into and, and suckered by other people's excitement and um, you know energy around the thing that they're doing. So I don't know about you. But if you have ever talked to like an SEO consultant, if you've ever talked to a content consultant, which I'm big on content, if you've ever talked to a, you know, um, Google ads consultant, if you ever talked to a Facebook ads consultant, their answer to your problems is what they do all the time, right? The answer to their, your problem is always, oh, you need SEO. Oh, you need a website upgrade. Oh, you need this. Oh, you need that. Those are the answers to your problems. And that is the old sort of saying that to the man with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. That is one of the reasons why I try my best to talk to you about different ways that you can improve your firm that aren't always just content related or always just this or always just that. I can tell you when I get on the phone with new sanctuary members, one of the first things I try to do and find out is what is working for you now? Let's just do more of that or let's just do that better, right? Let's find a way to get more of what's already working instead of implementing some crazy scheme or some idea that requires a lot more time and money and effort than you're already expending, okay? That's not to say that you don't need those things, that SEO or that Facebook ads or that Google ads or that website design. It's not to say that all those things can't help you but, um, you know, there are many different ways to skin a cat. There are many different ways to get new clients. And, you know, if you keep chasing all these different ideas, if you keep letting every single person with a hammer come and convince you that your problem uh, requires their nail, you're going to spend a lot of time and you're going to spend a lot of money and you're going to spend a lot of effort and you're not going to get a lot of results. Okay. So just be aware of that as you talk to people. Here's the other thing too. When you, this doesn't just go for your consultants and the people that you are that are trying to sell you stuff. When you're talking to your other fellow law firm owners as well, just because things work for them doesn't mean they'll work for you. All right, this is called confirmation bias. Um, the reason why I talk so um, you know energetically about content is because I've seen it not just work with my firm. I've seen it work with mm, tens, twenties, thirties of other firms. You know hundreds of other firms almost. I've also seen it work with uh, businesses outside of the, of the law firm sort of uh, realm. I've seen it work with many, many other service-based businesses. That's why I talk about it so, you know, um, energetically and why I try to get everybody to do it because um, it's important. <laughs> but again, I'm the man with a hammer, but I do other things as well, okay? And I want you to just be aware of that and Someone that is not willing to listen to what's working for you now, someone that is not willing to um, admit that other options might work just as good or better for you, that's sort of a red flag when somebody is trying to help you out, right? Um, so that's it. I want to talk about it because I see a lot of people getting stuck with that. I see a lot of people paying an uh, exorbitant amount of money for web hosting, for website design, for web services when you don't need to, Okay. You can find people that will do really good work for really, really cheap um, because that's just the nature of the internet these days. You know, website design in particular is just not that hard for the people that know how to do it. And there's a lot of them and that makes it very cheap. So 
Um, that's it. Be careful of the man, of the man or the woman with a with a hammer, because you're going to be the nail. All right. Um, take some time to vet what you're what you're trying to figure out. Make sure you're not um, leaving what's working for you to try something new, just because someone else is selling it to you with a lot of energy, and uh, you'll be much better off. All right. That is it. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. I will answer it. If you uh, know someone that needs to hear this, please share it with them. And if you are not subscribed to the world's greatest law firm owner newsletter of all time, you can do so by going to theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. All right, that is it. I am Christopher Small. I am the unconventional attorney. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you again soon. See ya.